So, Kunti said that this intoxication position, Mada, Evamana, Mada, increasing, Kuman, such person, Naivarati, they cannot feelingly address Jaya Radha Mada. They cannot feel it. That's not possible. Uh, they are uh, uh, feeling, uh, spiritual feeling is lost. Uh, they cannot feelingly address because they do not know. Uh, uh, oh, this God is for poor man. They cannot have sufficient food. Let them go to the church and ask. Oh, God, give us our daily bread. Oh, we have got enough bread. Why shall we go to church? This is their opinion. And therefore, nowadays, in the days of economic development, nobody is interested in going to the church or temple. I know what this nonsense. <laughs> Why shall I go to the church for asking bread? We shall develop economic condition. And there will be sufficient supply of bread. That's the communist country, they do so. Uh, the communist country, they make propaganda in the villages. Uh, they ask the people to go to the church and ask for bread. Then innocent people, they ask as usual, Oh God, give us our daily bread. Then when they come uh, out of the church, these communist people ask, Have you got bread? They say, no, sir. All right, ask us. And then they ask, oh, communist friend, give me bread. <laughs> and the communist friend has taken a truck load of bread. Take as much as bread. Take. So who is better? We are better or your God is better? They say, no, sir, you are better. Huh? Because they have no intelligence. They do not inquire that you rascal, where from you have brought this bread? <laughs> uh, have you manufactured in your factory? Can you manufacture grains, the ingredients of bread in your factory? Because they are no intelligent. Shudra. They are called Shudra. Shudra means those who have no intelligence. They take it as it is. But one who is Brahmana, <coughs> one who is advanced in intelligence, he will inquire immediately, you rascal, where from you brought this bread? Uh, that is the question of the Brahmana. Uh, you cannot manufacture bread. You have simply transformed God's grain. The grain is the weight is given by God, and you have simply transformed. Uh, by transforming something, from something, that does not become your property. Uh, just like I give some carpenter, some wood, some implement and salary, and he makes a very nice, beautiful uh, closet. So whom this closet will be, belong? To the carpenter or to the man who has supplied the ingredients? To whom it will begin? The carpenter cannot say, that because I have transformed this wood into such nice closet, it is mine. No, it is not yours. Uh, similarly, who is supplying the ingredient, rascal? Uh, that is Krishna. Krishna says, Bhumi rapana lavayu kangmano uddhivya. Prakriti me astadha. This is my property. You have not created this sea, the land, the sky, the fire, the air. It is not your creation. You can transform these material things, by mixing and transforming. You take uh, earth from the land, 
you take water from the sea and mix it and put it in the fire, it becomes a brick. And then you pile up all this brick and make a skyscraper building. But where from you got this ingredient, rascal, that you are claiming this skyscraper yours? This is intelligent question. You have stolen the property of God and you are claiming that it is your property. This is knowledge. Ah, this is knowledge. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.